More local emergency rooms are inundated with children fighting the flu. We already told you Dell Children's Medical Center has set up a new care site for the influx of patients. And since then, we've learned that St. David's is also adding more beds for young flu patients. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell reports as ERs are getting more and more congested, doctors are urging parents not to take their children to the hospital unless it's absolutely necessary. I feel like I have a headache, a stomach ache. <coughs> and a lot of sneezing. Nine-year-old Allison is feeling the flu. Pretty gross. It's not good. When her, her fever spiked earlier today, it was very, um, it was very concerning. But Allison's doctor says mom did the right thing by bringing her here. Well, we do want to try to keep people out of the emergency room as best we can and you know so we, we can manage most things here. Dr. Samuel Mirup says too often parents get worried when their children have flu symptoms and a high fever and take them straight to the emergency room. One of the downsides of going to the ER aside from waiting for hours and that kind of thing but you might not have the flu and you might pick it up there too. Instead he says. You know, first thing you, know, you should contact your primary care doc and talk you through things. Um, sometimes you can go to you know, an after hours clinic. Dr. Mirup says generally only the most serious flu cases need to be seen at the hospital if you have a newborn or a child with heart problems. So they're really having problems breathing and uh, there you don't mess around. In all other cases, he says, just follow Allison and her mom's lead. But we're going to watch and maintain, keeping the fever down, lots of fluids. A quick trip to the pediatrician or a clinic will do. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. We wanted to know how many flu-related deaths there have been in our area. The Williamson County Health Department told us they do not track those numbers because they do not receive death certificates like other health departments, but they do track flu trends. As of mid-January, nearly 30% of flu tests came out positive in Williamson County. In Travis County, there have been 32 flu-related deaths this season. In Hayes County, there have been one flu death reported and more than 1,000 cases of the flu.